very good morning dear children welcome to all of you to your alternative english class today in this class we are going to discuss the chapter confession of a misspent youth and it's written by mara wolinski okay so before starting the class let's do brahmanath o शांति 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 नाउ लिसन व्हाट इज मेंशन व्हाट इज द चैप्टर कन्फेशन ऑफ ए मिस स्पेंट यूथ एंड हियर इट माइट बी पॉसिबल दैट द यूथ हैड स्पेंट द लाइफ इन अ रॉन्ग वे इन द बाय डूइंग सम रॉन्ग एक्ट ही हैज डेफिनेटली स्पेंट द लाइफ दैट्स व्हाई he had confessed something in his life and this is written by the lady mara wolinski okay think once what is the role of a teacher in a student's life teachers are the role model for the students they can shape they can change the attitude the mentality the behavior of a student because at any cost the teacher will never ever think do harm to the student because the teacher feels extremely proud due to the achievement of the student understood it so here why are you coming to college the reason is simple to gain knowledge to have the knowledge which is essential for your life but suppose you are spending the life in the wrong way then what will happen definitely you will repent in your future and you will cry for your wrong deeds so here it might be possible that a youth had done something wrong that's why he is confessing okay but this chapter is written by the lady so here the lady is speaking it is the confession of a youth might be he might be c understood it so the complete chapter is all about the value of education how and why a student should be positively involved in proper education what is the necessity of real education in a, in the life of a person is mentioned in this chapter is it clear to you now come to the topic whenever i'm teaching you you also go through the lines so that you can understand it in a better way the idea of permissive education appealed to my mother in 1956 when she was a bohemian and i was 4 so what's the age of the writer when she entered in school she was only 4 years old it means she has taken birth in the year 1952 okay it is mentioned permissive education i have written here permissive means what free to all but it doesn't mean that it will be free of cost it is free to all means there is no stress no strain no work pressure no homework nothing is there completely free you are coming to class if you don't desire to wish you can sleep if you don't desire to read you can go to play this type of education is known as permissive education because it is written permissive education means free to all education anyone can enter by depositing the minimum fees or whatever it is but here permissive is doesn't referring to anyone can enter no it is referring to pre education means without any tension without any pressure the child will be educated got it appeal to my mother in the year 1956 so in the year 1956 the writer's mother was highly attracted towards permissive education when she was a bohemian bohemian means what a native of bohemia and where is bohemia it is a, it is a region in the west of czech republic means Czechoslovakia the real the uh, new name is Czech Republic so there she was a member she was a permanent resident of 
bohemian that's why at that time the pomsive education appealed her did attract her in greenwich village she found a small private school whose beliefs were hers and happily enrolled me so in the village greenwich she found a school where the mother's mentality and the teacher's mentality was same means the ideology of the school and the mother's thinking was completely same and what did she do she enrolled her child in that particular school i know it was an act of motherly love but it might have been the worst thing she ever did to me and here the writer is speaking that she did it because of her love for me but this is the worst thing that the mother did to the child understood it yes or no okay so it means the writer is directly criticizing his mother to enroll him for enrolling him in this particular school where everything was free education was also free and this school i will call it sand and she so what's the name of the school sand and she part and partial sand and she okay so attracted other such parents upper middle class professionals who were determined not to have their children pay pressure the way they had been and who were the parents were attracted towards this school the parents who were feeling that throughout their life they are being pressurized by education now their kids should not be pressurized for education those parents were attracted by sand and sea clear and sand and sea was the school without pain no pain is there nothing is there you are not going it's okay you are not reading it's okay you are not attending attending the classes it's okay you don't want to do maths okay you want to play okay go and play so these type of things are present in sand and sea so it was a school without any pain but there is a sentence no pain no gain it means by reading in this school no pain no gain also means no education free education no success also and i soon became an example of educational freedom the freedom not to learn so what type of education is mentioned here this permissive education is mentioned as freedom freedom not to learn understood this type of education it's being mentioned in this chapter sand and sea was run by 15 women and one man who taught science and there were 15 women and one man was there and he was teaching science they were decent people very good people some old some young and all devoted to cultivating the innate creativity they were convinced we had convince means strong belief and there were 15 women and a man only one man was there some teachers were old some were young and what was their belief their belief was they will bring out the inner quality of the child understood na so they were thinking that their child are means these children are blessed with some creative knowledge there was a tremendous emphasis on the arts arts means what it is not referring to the stream it is referring to drawing painting okay we were not taught techniques however because any kind of organization stunted creativity so here what is mentioned it was all about art drawing painting and whatever was there it was all about drawing painting learning something etc etc it was not about anything which is technical which is technical knowledge no technical knowledge was taught to them we had then it is mentioned happiness and hieroglyphics hieroglyphics means what it is a system of writing in egypt and normally 
they were not using alphabet to write it down they were using some pictures or some graphs in order to express the meaning that one is known as hieroglyphics we had certain hours allotted to various subject but we were free to dismiss anything that bored us as i told you now you are also having the time table for class but here those boys were also having the time table for class but if they were feeling bored they were leaving the class it was in fact it was school policy that we are forbidden to be bored or miserable or made to compete with each other there was no competition no examination should not a child should not feel bored this was the policy of the school there were no test and no hard time when i was bored with math i was excused and allowed to write short stories in the library what is the writer speaking she is speaking that when she was bored with maths she was allowed to write down story in the library this type of education was being imparted in san and c the way we learn history was by trying to recreate its least important element and how they were learning history you will be stunned to listen means they were recreating everything and should i will speak it to you later or oh, listen what is mentioned one year we pounded corn pounded means crush meanings are also written here pounded means crush pounded corn make tipis tipis means rounded tent one year they just crushed the corn made tent and add buffalo meat and learn two indian words and eat buffalo meat and learn only two indian words that was early american history and what were they learning early american history understood na means when they were learning early american history they were taught how to pound the corn how to crush the corn how to make tipis okay means rounded rounded tent which was being made by the americans uh and it is also mentioned that they were eating buffalo meat and learned two indian words why they were americans as well as red indians that was early american history and what was that that was early american history in this way they were learning and the year we made elaborate costume very beautiful design dresses they were making another year clay pots and paper mats gods paper mats god means small idols of god or goddesses which is being made uh, by the scraps of paper and by using some glue or paste into it by mixing it and to by making some idols that is greek culture and what was that greek culture they were learning another year we all were maidens and knights in armor because it was time to learn about the middle ages next year they were completely decorated with weapons because they were knights and maidens means they were princes and kings okay so they are learning the about middle ages we drink our orange juice from our tin foil goblets goblet means a drinking vessel just like water bottle and what were they doing they were drinking the orange juice but never found out what the middle ages were they were just middle ages and they were drinking orange juice from their goblet but they did never understand what is middle age they were just middle aged just stumped this is middle age middle age means middle age they knew nothing else understood i knew that the huns huns it civilization huns pack their horses they were tying their horses and bring a quart of blood before going to war but no one ever told us who were the huns were or why we should know who they were and listen one thing try to match the similarity the writer is speaking that in the middle ages the huns they were going to war and what were they doing they were eat, they were drinking blood before going to the war okay that's why it was in the middle age that's why the writer they were also eating orange juice red is color 
okay orange juice instead of blur because they were acting like the middle aged people middle aged is not referring to the age it is referring to the era okay middle aged so here it was known to them that hoons were drinking blood before going to blood but it was not known to them who were the hoons and why were they drinking blood and and one year the year of ancient egypt when we are building our pyramids then they were learning ancient egyptian history and what were they doing they were making pyramids okay think how creativity means how creative knowledge was there instilled in them i did a 30 foot long mural mural means what a last painting for which laboriously copied hieroglyphics onto the sheet of brown paper so he had done a 30 feet long murals and he had painted hieroglyphics onto it on a brown paper and it was looking all beautiful but it was not known to him what are the hieroglyphics are they are just there and looking beautiful but no one ever told me what they stood for they were just there and beautiful they were just there and beautiful that's all nothing was known to the writer ignorance is not a bliss next one is ignorance not a bliss means sometimes if you are remaining ignorant it might be a blessing but always ignorance is not a blessing we spent great amount of time being creative because we had been told by our incurably optimistic mentors that the way to be happy in life was to create then they spent huge time in sanity to be creative because it was told by the teachers by the mentors that in life if you want to be happy then be creative do something new thus we did learn to read to read until we were in the third grade because early reading was thought to discourage creative spontaneity so unless and until they were in the third age they were not allowed to read anything because according to the teachers anything if you are learning something right now it will damage it will destroy it will destroy your creative knowledge it will destroy the spontaneity in you the one thing they taught us very well was to hate intellectuality and anything connected with it but they had taught the kids that you have to hate intellectuality and technology because these things kill the creativity accordingly we were forced to be creative for 9 years so for 9 years they were doing only creative work 4 to 9 years think 5 years they are making pyramid they were making tipis and eating buffalo meat and drinking orange juice these things they were doing only and and at sen and c for 9 years means she joined she joined the school at the age of 4 then up to 9 years okay she was there in sen and c and it sen and c has failed to turn out a good artist but even after 9 years of good education the sen and c was unable to make out a very good artist what we did do was to continually form and reform interpersonal relationship and that's what we thought learning so what were they learning interpersonal relationship means they were only trying to understand people to understand the thoughts the thinkings that is also in between them only not with the outside world and that's what we thought learning was all about and we are happy and they were also very happy if the teacher will not scold you if the teacher will not give you any home task will not you be happy definitely so the writer she was also very happy acting for example most of us were functionally illiterate but we could tell that ramon was acting out so they can understand a person in a meaning means in a minute they can understand a person they can see how ramon is acting out and when in the middle of what passed for english he did the twist on top of his desk and when he was doing the twist on the desk they were speaking how ramon is acting out or that nina was introverted and nina is quite reserved girl because he always cowered in the corner because he is always cling to the corner she is always remaining in the corner only she is alone she doesn't like to mix up with people when we finally graduated from kanan however all the happy little children fell down the hill but when they were graduated from kanan they fell down 
we felt a profound sense of abandonment and their feeling as if they are abandoned okay they felt a profound sense of abandonment they were feeling lonely they are feeling as if they are being deserted by the complete people by the complete society so did our parents and not only they were feeling their parents were also feeling the same after all the tuition money let alone the loving freedom their children faced high school with all the glorious prospect of the poorest slum school kids and so it came to be no matter what school we went to we were the underachiever and culturally disadvantaged so whatever the school that they were going but they were culturally disadvantaged under developed and they are also under achievers understood it for some of us real life was too much one of my oldest friend from san and sea killed himself 2 years after flunking out of the worst high school in new york at 20 and one of her friend he committed suicide because he was unable to cope up with the situation and even he was unable to finish the education from the worst high school means all the stupid were there among them also this boy failed it means think what might be the miserable condition of those boys and girls and various other support in time in mental institution where they were free once again to create during occupational therapy and a number of students they were in mental institution and they were given occupational therapy means they were given work to do okay think without education what became the situation of the students during my own high school years the school psychologist was baffled by my lack of substantive knowledge during his own high school day the teacher was completely confused that why this boy is not having any knowledge why he doesn't know he knows nothing the teacher was thinking like this and he suggested to my mother that i be given a battery of psychological test to find out why i was blocking out information and the teacher told the writer's mother that she has to give a set of mental test so that it can be captured it can be find out what is the reason and why was she blocking the information the thing was i was not blocking because i had no information to block but what was the reality the reality was she was not blocking she was not having information so what will she block most of my sen and c classmates were also enduring the same kinds of hardship that accompanies they were severe handicaps and almost all number of friends of the writer they were also facing these difficulties and they were completely handicapped in learning my own reading comprehension was in the lowest 8 percentile not surprisingly i was often asked by teachers how i had gotten into high school and the writer is speaking on herself that her own comprehension her own reading test was miserable she was getting only 8 percentile and often the teachers used to ask how she did manage to enroll in high school means how she qualified high school however i did manage to stumble not only through high school but also through college first junior college rejected by all four year colleges and then new york university but anyway the right was managed to stumble to strike his her education her college and her university hitting it all the way i had been taught to i am still amazed that i have a b and the writer is surprised she had the education that was given to her in her childhood days but surprisingly he is a b c c not he c is a bachelor of arts he completed her degree the lever of learning the parents of my former classmates can't figure out what went wrong they had sent in bright curious children and gotten back 9 years later helpless adolescents some might say that those of us who tried tricked out would have tricked out anywhere but when you see the same bizarre behavior pattern in succeeding graduating classes you can draw certain terrifying conclusion so did you understand what is mentioned the parents of our formal classmates 
they were thinking that what wrong? We had sent bright children to sun and sea. But after nine years, they got big, helpless adults and they got young boys and girls. They are helpless. There was no knowledge in their brain. It might be possible that in the middle, the parents are not visiting the children. Okay. So, here it is mentioned that one who is upset will be upset always. But when you see, but it can be, I mean sometimes we feel that one who is always having a smiling face, always will have. And a person whose face is visible as if today morning only he has lost one crore rupees, his face will be like this. But if the same attitude will be seen in all the people, then definitely something wrong is there. And it is mentioned, but when you see the same bizarre behavior pattern in succeeding graduating classes, you can draw certain terrifying conclusions. So if the same behavior is, behavior is there in a number of people, then definitely something wrong is there. Now I see my 12 year old brother who is in a traditional school doing college-level maths and I know that he knows more about many other things besides math than I do. Then the writer is speaking that now her brother who is in a traditional school, he knows lots of things and he knows much more better than the writer. And I also see traditional education working in the case of my 15 year old brother who was summarily went from San and Sea and the writer might be blessed with two brothers, one his daughter and two sons, their parents might be having. And another brother, because it is mentioned, one is mentioned and I also see, also is mentioned, means in addition, education, education working in the case of my 15 year old brother that he is, as one is 12 year brother and the one is 15 year old brother and the 15 year old brother is doing very well and he was summerly yanked from San and Sea. means suddenly her mother did take away the child from San and Sea by my reformed mother when he was 8 so that he would not become like me when he was only 8 years old his mother did take him back from the school now after 7 years of real education he is making impressive film documentaries for a project on the bicentennial and now after some years of real education, he is doing documentaries on the film of Bicentennial. It means he is celebration of completion 200, of 200 years after the American Declaration of Independence. Means after America was declared independence, 200 years completed and on this occasion the boy is making film documentaries. A better learning experience than playing pilgrim for four and a half months an Indian for four and a half months, which I, which is how I imagine they spent this year at Sun and Sea. And here the writer is speaking that this is a better learning experience than spending number of years in doing something creative. And now I have come to see that the real job of a school is to entice the student into the wave of knowledge and then if he is not enticed to drag him in, I wish I had been. Listen. What is mentioned? Finally, the writer is speaking. What is the real education mean? And what is the real duty of a school? School means what? School is consisting of the teachers. The real duty of the teachers are, they have to force the student to learn. They have to attract the student to learn real education. And how? Suppose a child is not at all attracted. The teacher has to use some method some trick so that the child will have the interest to learn something that is the real duty of his school and here the writer she is speaking she is expressing her obsession that I wish I could have been it means she wished that she might have taught in the same manner age her two younger brothers are reading understood it so this chapter is all about real education what is the value of real education in real life is being focused here. You just go through all the lines, read it properly. Any doubt you have, you just ask me. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice time.